Welcome back to another episode of Bass Bros. And today, guys, short and simple intro. My goal is to catch a largemouth bass. So let's do it. First tip up going down, guys. See what we can get. Tip up number two, set and ready to go. And now while we wait for a flag, I'm gonna jig for some bluegill. Oh, flag, flag. Oh boy. Already, dude, it's been like 10 minutes. Okay. It's not taking any line. It just took the shiner and dipped. I mean, that's still a good sign, even though we didn't get one. But there's there's fish in the area. I'm getting a bite. Oh, I had a bite. Jeez. I've been marking a ton of fish, but it's been hard to get them to bite. Gosh, I keep getting tiny little taps, but nothing can commit enough for me to hook it. Flag. 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 Oh no. Oh no. It's not moving again. Nothing. Probably a false flag from this wind because it's really windy right now. Oh my gosh, dude, they got my hopes up so much. Dang it. Goodness gracious, guys, I'm just getting pelted with snow and catching nothing. Great, it's going great so far. Well, the panfish are not cooperating, so I'm just gonna throw on a jigging wrap and start jigging this thing around and see if I can get a bass or pike or something. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm doing today. This trip was all just like on a limb. I was doing nothing. I was like, mm, you know what? I'm just gonna go fishing. Cause it wasn't snowing at the time, but this, but of course, as soon as I come out here, a freaking blizzard comes. So I don't know what I'm doing, but just trying to catch a fish. Flag. Okay. Please have a fish this time. Oh, it's moving. Oh yeah, I got something. I got something. Yes, sir. Come here. What is it? It's a bass. Let's go. I got a largey, guys. No way. Yes, dude. I got a largey. No way. I just caught a largey through the ice. That's the first ever largemouth, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord. Let's do it, mate. Look at that shiner just down his throat. Yo guys, I'm out ice fishing in this snowstorm today and I just caught my first ever largemouth through the ice. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it guys. I actually did it. Just caught a largie through the ice. Oh my goodness. Hopefully I can get some more. But thanks for biting, bud. And see you later. Let's go. I can't believe it. I actually did it. I caught a largie through the ice. Only took like three years, but we finally did it. Man, these bluegill are just not having it today. Like, they, they are not biting for anything. Like, they'll follow me all the way up, but just won't bite. So the snowstorm's starting to pick up, actually. The wind's picking up. There's a lot of snow coming down. And I don't know, I'm just getting, like, a gut feeling, and like, an uneasy feeling. I think God is telling me that I need to leave this lake because it's kind of far from my house. So I'm going to leave this lake and head up to Wald Lake, which is closer to my house, on the way back. And try to fish there, an area where I'm more comfortable with. And I don't know, I'm just, like I said, I just got an uneasy feeling and I just feel like I have to leave. So I'm going to leave and head over to Wald Lake to catch you guys there. Okay, well, I made it to Wald Lake here. I just did leg day this morning, but honestly, this is more of a leg workout. Walking through all the snow, I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry I can't record much with my bigger camera. It's just I don't want it to get full of snow. So hope you enjoy these GoPro clips. Just look at this rig. It's just frozen solid. Like, oh, it is windy. It's a lot more windy on this lake because this lake is more open. I didn't realize it, but it is windy. Dude, you see all this snow blowing? Like, it's a freaking blizzard out here, dude. I think I'm just gonna drop a tip up down this hole and let a shiner sit down there at like 19 feet and see what happens. Because I'm marking something, but it might be seaweed. What if it is seaweed, then that's a good sign. Any sort of veg vegetation structure is what I'm looking for right now. I just got a flag. I just got a flag. Oh my gosh, I'm flipping out. It could be wind because there's so much wind, but I hope not. Oh, 
almost nothing. Let's see if the minnow's still there though. That's the key sign. Okay, minnow's still there. It was probably just gonna come and go. But sometimes I really question the things I do. It's a winter storm advisory, and I just say, hey, it's a great day to go fishing. That's exactly what I do. Like, why wouldn't you? Oh, I can't even fit my fingers through the holes because they're literally frozen shut. So, that's great. Yeah, that's, that just, these gloves just don't work anymore. Okay. I think it might be time to start going, just because of the fact that I don't have gloves. Oh, they're little bites. There's perch down there probably. It's probably the same freaking two inch perch that I catch every time I come to this lake. So yeah, you guys get to a point where like you just can't feel anything. So like, you know, it doesn't even matter anymore. Just kidding. I might actually have to go in because I literally can't feel this hand right now. It's just, it's completely frozen. I'm trying to get this glove to defrost, but it's not working. So the warmth of my hand is starting to defrost my glove. So I'm okay now. Just needed that to happen. Oh, I got a fish. Oh no. No, I had one. No way. Dag him. Getting bit. Oh, oh I had a, oh I had another one. Oh my gosh. There's fish here. I think I'm just gonna check my bait. Do I actually have one? I think I might have one. <laughs> I might yep, I do. <laughs> I couldn't even feel him. That's how small he was. You know, in a sense, it kind of feels like home sitting here at Wild Lake catching some dink perch. I'm not gonna lie, just something about it just warms my heart. It just does. Like, thank you so much for biting, little dude. I really appreciate it. And, oh, see you later. Like, that just feels right. It just, it does. I am home now, guys, and that last half an hour, let me tell you, it was a bit of an adventure to say the least. So first off, my GoPro literally turned black, so I couldn't record anything. Like, I don't know, it was just too cold or something. It just shut down. I was like, hey, I'm out. See you, see you later. I am not recording anymore. And after that, my hands were just completely frozen. Everything else around me was frozen. My tip-ups were covered in snow. Literally, the whole, my whole sled was just ice. And I don't know what was going on, but everything was freezing up. It was so cold. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go home. So that's what I did. I came home, took a nice hot shower, ate some dinner, and now here we are right here. But I am super glad I was able to get out there and catch my first bass through the ice ever and my first bass of 2022. So I truly cannot thank the Lord enough for giving me this awesome day and allowing me to take you guys with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to leave a fat thumbs up. And as always, fish with passion.